Hey everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Caller and I'm sitting here with Betsy, the mid laner of Giants Gaming. Congrats on the win against H2K. Thank you. Now, Giants Gaming, right? A lot of people, a lot of analysts, a lot of journalists didn't really expect you guys to succeed. What makes you so special compared to all these other teams? You're three and one right now. I think we're just like a lot of uh, underrated players. And I said it before, and I think especially Joko is really underrated. Because uh, he's, he's the type of player that always helps the team mm -hmm. over himself. And that, that, uh, that just provides so much in a team. I mean, yeah, Joko probably got the most criticism out of all you guys. I mean, uh, Steelback has had his fair share of criticism you too. But Joko, people called for him to be benched and to go to Challenger and whatever. I mean, that, that just shows how some of that might be really undeserved. Yeah, from fans. Uh, exactly. That's why... He's, for me, the most underrated player because everyone trash-talked him and everyone said he was bad and now he's just showing everyone wrong, pretty much. Now, you must feel pretty good about yourself as well, given that you got dropped from Rockhead, but now you're 3-1. and one. Uh, How did that come to be? And uh, Actually, in the start, I had to choose between Rocket and Giants. Mm -hmm. uh, I was leaning towards Giants, but, uh, but then I got the confirmation from Rocket that I can't play there anymore. So I just I was happy to to play with Giants and everything is just working out well right now. I mean, you you stayed with Rocket for a really long time. Was it difficult to leave that team or that organization? I think it's not difficult at all for me. I think it's rather like a fresh start for me and like for me, I can just show everyone wrong now and play better than before. Now you've been around for quite a long time now as well. Uh, you've you've been through relegations, but also playoffs at times. Uh, what makes you keep on going compared to like other players? You know, eventually just just quit. Uh, what keeps me going? It's just the competition. I think uh, it's always rough to lose, though. Uh, but winning in LCS is probably the best feeling in the world, and that's why I keep keep doing this. Now you recently, or yesterday, you did an interview uh, with uh, with Riot saying that, in your opinion, Nuke Duck is the better mid laner than Perks. Would you like to elaborate a bit on that? Uh, I think Nuke Duck is less dependent on his jungler, and that's why he stands out for me. Uh, and I will be very impressed if he if he does well with Price Talker, because Price Talker is more of a, a camp oriented jungler, and that's why if Nuke Duck plays well this split, I will be very impressed. And you obviously got to play with Pride Stalker before, so you must know it really well. Yeah. Um, so uh, that said, though, I mean, Perks has been the, the forefront of EU mid laners, right? He's been single handedly carrying games at times. Uh, do you think that Nuke Duck will be able to reach that kind of status that Perks still has? I mean, he's he has the EU lane kingdom after all. I think uh, Nuke Duck already kind of showed it last split. Uh, and he's always had a worse team that, than Perks, I would say, and that's why he couldn't show it as much as uh, Perks has been showing. So right now we have a mid lane meta that essentially is either you get Azir or you basically lose the game, <laughs> it feels like it at times. Do you, do you think that it's a bit boring that uh, Azir now, or at least right now, is so seemingly so insanely important to teams? I mean, we've seen teams lose, but usually it was because of other reasons. Uh, I think the meta fits me perfectly. Uh, I like the type of champs that are being played right now, like Galio, Malzar, Azir, even Veigar uh, is, is fine for me. So I'm not really the one to complain about the meta. Okay. Well, I mean, you did pull out the Vega unexpectedly, pretty much. Uh, what was your reasoning in that specific situation? Uh, we screamed uh, a pretty bad team uh, and they played Vega into us uh, and at first I didn't think it was a good pick uh, but then I tried it out myself and it's working most of the times so I wouldn't say every time but when it works it's uh, it's a really strong pick and of course with the runes you theoretically had infinite power infinite uh, uh, AP so you know in the 90th minute game, if we see one like that again, yeah. with, like with the SKT series. Uh, in general, though, the, the games have been really long uh, compared to previous splits. Interestingly enough, there's a statistic that shows in competitive um, League of Legends, the LCS length match, average length match, has consistently decreased over the seasons. Mm -hmm. But this start of the season, it has spiked enormously with like 40 minutes average game time. Do you think that's uh, fun or... Do you, would you prefer like those 27, 28, 32 minute games? 
uh, I think for me it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, for, I just play the games how, how they are, you know, and try to adapt as best as possible. But I'm completely fine with long games. It's it's like it's whoever plays the team fights best in the late game that will win. And for me, that is fine. I think. Bit surprising though that the Unicorns of Love, a team that was used to be known for for their team fighting, now are struggling so heavily right now. Who do you think that is? Uh, I mean, first of all, they had a lot of replacements. Uh, I think the biggest reason to why they were good was because of their top and support, which is Archie and Hillisang. Uh, and when they departed from the team, I think they just have such a hard time to to win games in general. Okay. Now you're with Giants. Um, you have a long history behind you. Um, what are your personal goals with the organization uh, and for this split specifically? Uh, for now, obviously, playoffs is, is, is my goal. Uh, I don't really think further than that. I just take every game how it goes and, and see see where I, where I land, you know. Do you prefer best of ones over best of threes? For sure, yeah. 